I bet you've never thought of cancer therapy like stacking a deck of cards, but today I'm going to give you a simple analogy to explain the future of precision medicine in cancer treatment and how my research is contributing to that future. One in eight Canadian women will receive a diagnosis of breast cancer in their lifetime. This can be a devastating disease for many, and despite improvements in screening and treatment, it remains a fatal diagnosis for some. There's a clear need to improve treatment strategies for these individuals. So let's take a look at the first part of my slide. I'm asking you to imagine that I've taken a regular deck of cards and dealt out nine face down. From this perspective, they all look exactly the same, even though we know on the inside they're all unique. Something similar can be said about breast cancer patients. Although they might have individual distinguishing characteristics that make them unique in the same way you and I are different individuals, uh, it doesn't tell us anything about what's on the inside. We have to know a little bit more to find out how to treat them. Uh, so what now, if, what if I tell you that the three circled cards, the three patients, are the only ones who respond to a new type of cancer treatment? From this perspective, they're absolutely identical and we don't understand why. We have to know to flip them over. So now if you look at the second panel, those three circled cards, although they're all different, you can now see that they have something in common. They all happen to be spades. My research uses a similar principle. I've looked at an aggressive type of breast cancer and tried to see if they would respond to a new type of treatment. I used over nine different models and used a drug called retinoic acid, which is made from vitamin A. What I found is that not all tumors respond the same way. Retinoic acid was a good treatment for some of them, but not a good treatment for the others. I've investigated the genetic factors, turning them over, to find out what makes them different. How do we separate the spades from the rest of the deck? So now let's move into stacking the deck. We already know that the spades are the ones who are going to respond to this new treatment. So we can prioritize those in a precision medicine strategy to skew the odds in their favor. And improved identification of these patients will mean improved outcomes for them and their families. Thank you.